Yeah, this is my uh, Ubuntu 11.04 desktop. Um, I've kind of trimmed a few things down. I got the uh, Unity bar or dock bar um, to auto hide, and I uh, made it a little smaller. And I also added some, um, um, I guess you call them almost mouse gestures in uh, in a sense. Um, but they're called something different in Compiz. But anyway, so I have uh, Firefox open here. And a neat thing you can do is with this, uh, with moving your mouse around, it's all four corners have a function. So if I go down to the bottom right, you can see my four desktops. And all I have to do is um, right click on one and now I'm as you can see here I'm running a virtual machine which is Windows XP and I'm looking at uh, Komodo security software go back down there and now I'm looking at the uh, wallpaper pictures I'm looking over um, then I can go back to the original Firefox um, on desktop one, and when I go mouse down to the bottom left, it will show the desktop. And I would go back to show desktop, it brings it back. And if I go up to the top left, it minimizes that, and then I can show desktop. Or I can show it this way to show all the applications running. And I can pick one from there. And all I do is click on it. And then see we're back here. And I can open uh, another something. What else do I have that I wanted to open? So uh, let's say Miro uh, Internet TV RSS uh, Reader. I could do the um, what they call expo, grab this and move it over to here. And now I'm on the uh, second workspace area, which gives you uh, this gives you um, suggestions and podcasts you can watch, you can download them and watch them, which is neat. And then you want to go back to the first desktop. And if you look at the top here, I have uh, um, Ubuntu One, which is a cloud service where you can upload your documents and stuff, uh, an applet, a weather indicator, notes. This is neat. Um, it uh, adjusts the, the, the temperature of your screen according to what time of day it is. So it sort of darkens the screen a little. This is Dropbox in here. And here that keeps coming up is the Google Reader. And there's also System Monitor, which I can actually launch the monitor. Look at resources, processes, file system. Let's close that down. Of course, that's the internet here. Sound, I can uh, launch Banshee, which is uh, an audio player. Mail, uh, I set my default to uh, Thunderbird. Messages, this is for uh, Twitter and Facebook. I just click on that, I can see messages. And there's the calendar. And if I wanted to type something in here, it'll post into the uh, broadcast area both into Twitter and Facebook. And of course over here is the logout, shutdown, restart, hibernate, etc. System settings. You can look at it. You can go and it has categories, hardware, other, etc. So yeah, it's pretty neat. And uh you look here it's it's not it's doing well like i mean 20 23 percent 43 percent of memory being used but i am running 
uh, virtual machine. Uh, a podcast uh, application. The Firefox web browser. And of course, uh, Nautilus, which is like akin to Windows Explorer. Uh, you have documents, music, pictures, videos, downloads. You can make these on the left side into um, shortcuts, right? So if I go to the desktop and I press F10, I can go to Places, and there's the favorites here. And what's also interesting is if you go over to here on the Home folder, there's an add-on you can get where you can get quick access by uh, running uh, by right-clicking on it, and it's simple enough. You can just uh, close the apps down you're not using. You can move them around again. You can put them on the same workspace. Then you can minimize, and you can choose between the two, which is when I move the mouse up to the top right. And minimize the desktop to desktop. Back again. Again. Choose one. So it's uh, pretty neat. I think this is really cool. Um, so yeah, I, I really, I'm really enjoying 11.04 to a certain extent. It's a little strange. Um, when you change something using the neat effects, like um, I guess it'd be a Windows-like thing. There's Snap. Um, it's called Compiz, and it's uh, really a, a way to sort of add effects to your desktop. But unfortunately, with the, this Unity interface, um, some of the effects are really tough to get working. And what happens is the uh, windows up here will and will uh, disappear. This border, if you mess around too much, and this top area. My mouse is pointing will also uh, go all blurry. It'll disappear. So the only way you can restart is uh, open your terminal and uh, type in reboot as administrator. But other than that, it's pretty cool. Um, I like these indicators. I really love these up at the top. They're really handy. And you can control if they launch at startup or not. So that's pretty neat. So yeah, and I also, yeah, no, not sure that, no, it doesn't. Okay, yeah, there's a few more things I got to to work out. I know you can get the effects, the desktop cube working and stuff and, and that, so. Yeah, I just thought maybe I'd uh, give you a glimpse at the what it looks like in, to be using Linux, and you can be very productive, actually. Um, so yeah. And thanks to all the people on YouTube and all the people on the blogs for giving me so many great tips on getting some amazing uh, software. So yeah, thank you for watching, if anybody's watching. Bye for now.